Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you make your waffles, you want to put your water in first. Otherwise, it will have a harder time blending, okay? So we're going to add about uh, four cups of water to four and a half cups of water, around that range. I like to add more of the high side of water, like four and a half cups, five cups of water. So now this is actually barley. You can go to Walmart and in the rice section, there's a box, like on the top shelf, and it's barley and it looks like oatmeal. That will work too. And this right here is actually the real pearl barley. And what I did for this one is I washed this barley off. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to this. And you can improvise. If you don't have cornmeal, you can add grits. Cause what is, what is corn made? corn meal made out of? It's made out of corn. So, cor so grits is made out of corn too, so you can add grits, okay? So we're gonna add grits to there. And we actually used um, actual dry corn before too, which that works really well. Yeah, and now this is cashews and some salt. I'm gonna go ahead and hit I'm going to go ahead and start blending this up before I add my oatmeal. Let this start. Now for the old fashioned oatmeal. This is the old fashioned rule. This is the rope. Oats, old fashioned kind. So two cups of that. There we go. Let's give it a little bit more of a blend. This waffle maker actually does two waffles, so we got another one on the other side, um, right here. <laughs> A nice hot waffle. No eggs, no baking soda. No cholesterol, and, and actually, instead of clogging the arteries, this waffle, because it has oatmeal in it, actually cleans out the arteries. So it does the exact, I mean, the opposite of the traditional waffles with eggs in it. Because oatmeal has 
sol soluble fiber, which actually cleans out the arteries. So I'm going to go ahead and put this waffle in there. Um, and this is really good with maple syrup. Pure maple syrup. Just to reiterate the point that fruits, nuts, grains, and veggies are really, really, really good for the heart. Um, uh, bananas are really rich in potassium. And a lot of people don't realize it, but potassium is what gives your body pump and force. It's one of those energy-creating um, nutrients that your body actually needs, potassium-rich foods. And one of the problems, and this is something that we're learning about now, one of the problems with something called a water pill that they give, they give people to pull off the water, what it actually pulls out of the system in addition to the water, it actually pulls out potassium. And so what they try to do is, well, we'll give you a potassium substitute or whatever. But nothing is as good as the real thing, right? So potassium is really good. It's really good for energy. It's really good for muscles. Your heart is actually a what? A muscle, right? And if it, if it, has the, uh, if it does not have potassium or any muscle in the body does not have potassium, it's not going to pump as forcefully. So, for example, let me do a demonstration. All right, let's see. Let's just for the essence of, uh, we have something, right? And you, you can either pump. You're getting blood to all the parts of your body, right? That's your heart. Boom, boom, boom. It's getting blood. It's pumping. You want it to pump, right? Do you want it to have force? Or do you want it to be, uh, uh. what happens if it's not pumping as forcefully? Not as much blood getting to the extremities, mm -hmm. which causes a lot more pain, which actually contributes to the fluid buildup. And then, so you have a revolving door cycle. There's fluid buildup. On that, they give you the water pill. On that, there's more fluid buildup because the heart is not going to be able to forcibly pump. So the person doesn't get off the water pill. It's something that they stay on, and then the water pill is continuing to dam cause the damage, right? This is your heart. It's a muscle. It's created by God to do something, to forcibly pump. Now, I could do a trick and say, okay, I'm going to give you a number that's 120. Now, who says that 120 is where you need to be at for your body to pump what it needs to get the blood throughout all of its, all the body, right? You know, um, for a young person, 120 is awesome. For older people, they keep fluctuating the numbers. Some people say lower, some people say higher. But the thing is, you want your heart to actually be pumping to get, to get the blood actually where it needs to be. And potassium is what really helps your blood to do that. And if your body does not have potassium, it will not pump effectively. And if it does not pump effectively, it will not get blood to where it needs to be. And if the blood's not going, it will cause res uh, other problems. It will cause other complications. You pour this in the center here. Anyway, another nutrient, all vitamins and minerals are very important for the body. Um, so the bananas are good for potassium. The oranges are good for vitamin C, right? Vitamin C is actually good for the body. But you know another fruit that actually has more vitamin C than oranges? Kiwi! Kiwi actually has more vitamin C than an orange. They're both good. They both have their benefits, but uh, they're both. But what has happened is um, the industry, they said, well, if you need potassium, instead of eating the banana, which God made, we'll take the potassium and get it from various sources and put it in a pill so you can actually take the potassium to replace the potassium that's in your body. But there's nothing like the real thing. For example, let me just give you uh, another uh, can you make a banana? I'll give you, um, you can go to the store and you can buy all the ingredients you want. You can buy potassium, uh, you can buy uh, whatever uh, other things you need to make a banana. Whatever ingredients that they tell you is actually in. There's, there's also other um, nutrients that's in a banana. Can you make a banana? With all, all your wisdom, all the science that you have, can you make a simple banana? One banana. Nothing that you can do. Can you, can you make a banana? Can you make a banana? Can you make a banana? No. With everything, you can go to wherever. You can go to a camp, wherever you can. You cannot reproduce it the way God did it. 
So anything that you buy outside as a substitute is only a substitute and it will not do the same thing. And there's been research that has been proven time and time again that it does not do the same thing. It does not have the same benefits. A lot of times people say when they take blood pressure medications, they talk about they have a lack of energy. And the reason is because the potassium is what gives your body energy. And when you've got a pill or something in there that's taking out the potassium, you're saying, wipe away my energy. Wipe it away. You don't feel as good. You feel more drained, more lethargic, because that muscle is not pumping as hard. You get a lower reading, but at the same time, your part is not pumping to get the blood to the different parts of the body as it should. Okay? So, in other words, I'd, I'd like to say it's kind of like a deception. That's all it is. That's all I can say. You think, people think when they take a certain pill that they are getting a lower reading or a lower number because that lower number, they say, will prevent them from having a heart attack, right? But what in reality of it is, it's not actually preventing them from having a heart attack. They say that's a risk factor. But the thing is, when you start playing with your heart and your heart going up and down, going through the stress of actually pulling that water out of the muscle, pulling the potassium out of the muscle, pulling this force out of the muscle, you're actually playing with, playing with your, your nature, your natural body and the way it's supposed to do and do the things that it's, do you, I, don't, I don't know how to simply say this. I wasn't planning to do a presentation on this today and I don't really know how to use PowerPoint as well as Carrie does. But the bottom line is, in terms of uh, just trying to make it understandable for people, have you ever been on water pills, Kim? No? Okay. You've been on them? And it actually causes, people don't realize, it actually causes congestion, heart, congestive heart failure. Did you know that? Water pills will actually cause the part that people are actually trying to prevent. Most, a lot of the people that you know that actually have congestive heart failure, if you ask them, they're taking the water pills. And, you know, and that's, and that's really why I kind of try, it's, it's really a deception because people think, well, if I take this, I will prevent the heart attack. I will prevent the stroke. And it's not preventing the heart attack. It's not preventing the stroke. It's actually stressing, putting more stress on the heart. Whereas if a person didn't do those things, they would actually be at a, an opportunity to rebound faster. I've been doing a series I've been doing a series at the church on tasting the rainbow and uh, just showing how you can get um, good health, vitamins, get all the vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, flavonoids, uh, etc., from fruits and vegetables, fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, God's Pharmacy, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, not the P-H pharmacy God's true pharmacy um, you know Skittles they have a slogan they say taste the rainbow but um, <clears throat> all the artificial colors and flavors those things actually can contribute to things like uh, uh, it's linked with ADHD and other things of that nature but that, that whole thing with ADHD that's a whole nother whole nother subject there but um but yeah that's bananas Bananas, that's, that's where you get your potassium. And we got blueberries. Blueberries are good, uh, help fight against cancer. Matter of fact, apples help to fight against cancer. You know they say an uh, apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah. And that's raw honey. That's the best. When well, they say an uh, apple a day keeps the doctor away, and it's true. Apples help with constipation. They also help fight against cancer, um, provides energy. Good for your overall health. So we're going to add apples here. We have a variety. You've got Granny Smith, some other apples there. And you can, you can use different types of fruits that you like. Uh, apples, bananas, oranges. You can use grapes. I like grapes in mine. Pineapple. It's a good treat, especially uh, during the uh, hot season. Very refreshing. If you like add cantaloupe to your fruit salad, you can do that. 
Kiwi. Gonna add that in there. Now this is a big bowl of fruit salad. Now watch how quick it's gonna get gone when we eat. So we have all that in there. And here we have some uh, oranges, those small oranges you, you can get at, uh, what's, what's the name of those oranges? Uh, tangerines. tangerines. Um, you can get those at uh, Food Line, Walmart. I think you get these at Walmart. Mm -hmm. And also we have pineapple in here. Now pineapple is good mm -hmm. because, because of the bromelain properties that help with pain. If you're struggling with back pain or other different pains that you may be experiencing, pineapple is good for that. <clears throat> And it's very, it's very sweet. Now, Walmart, uh, Walmart, uh, not Walmart, Food Line. Food Line, I noticed their pineapples are riper than the ones at Walmart. From, just, from my, just from my experience, mm -hmm. it's easier to get a ripe one at Food Line than it is at Walmart. So, mm -hmm. you, you may get blessed and find a ripe one at Walmart, but. The right ones I've seen so far are at Food Line. And what you do is you smell that pineapple and look at it too. If, it's, if you see yellowish, it's, it's looking nice and yellowish, it's, it's pretty ripe. And you can smell it too. And it's sweet. And you just mix it like that. And you see this. Pretty simple. God cooked, cooked it for you already. He already baked it. <laughs> the only thing we did, we just, we just cut it. And we're going to add some honey here that the bees have put together. We're going to get the bees a hand. <laughs> put a little squeeze in there like that. And I'm gonna... best honey you, you, the best honey to get is raw honey. That's the best honey to get. Raw honey. That's what I've squirted on this fruit salad here. And that's your fruit salad, as you can see. Um, as you're noticing, the tofu has water in it. So you want to get the water out first. And this is the tofu, it's organic extra firm tofu that we're using. Right here. Don't get the And it has water in it. Like as you see, there's water that came out of it. And you open it up like that. This is tofu and you can get this from Walmart. This is um, organic tofu. Okay, so then it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on the pot. It's hot now. <laughs> okay, and this one. So when you make this at home, you kind of want to make it in this order because the waffles are quick, but the tofu has to steam out. So that's one reason why it's good to... Is that frozen? No, it was just refrigerated. And you want to keep it refrigerated. Or you can put it in the freezer, which will give it another consistency. It will be spongy-like. Okay, so I'm going to mash that up. Just with the regular large fork or whatever. And the reason why we make our own eggs instead of using um, eggs that are in the, the real eggs, the reason why is because eggs have a lot of cholesterol in them. And this is a way to have um, a breakfast with no cholesterol. Because normally, breakfast, they ha it has a whole bunch of cholesterol. There is mm -hmm. the eggs, which ha is cholesterol. The bacon, which is cholesterol, and then the waffles or pancakes, there's cholesterol in that too because they put eggs in that. So we're going to make this breakfast with no cholesterol. And do you know what cholesterol does anyway? 
Cholesterol actually clogs up the arteries, mm -hmm. which causes heart attacks and strokes. Mm -hmm. So, we don't want that, so we're going to substitute it with something better. And to be honest with you, when I was little, when we used to eat eggs or whatever, I didn't really like eggs anyway. So, I actually like this better, so. And the reason why you want to do this first when you're really making this at home is so this can be cooking while you're doing your waffles because this takes a little time to steam out. And then once you're done with your waffles, you can come back to this and finish seasoning it out. All right. That looks basically fine. Yeah, you can use that. Okay, so I put some sea salt in here. And I'm going to mix this up. And then if you like to, you don't have to do this, but you can add a little something extra, which is add onions and garlic. This is one large onion and some garlic. Okay, so I'm just going to let that steam while we do our next recipe. And I'm going to let this steam in the kitchen, okay? Can you bring this to the kitchen? Green already. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, green already. Yeah, green already. So all we're going to do to this tofu is add a, a little turmeric for color. Turmeric is also good for inflammation. And it changes the white tofu to a yellow tofu. And you've got the ingredients there. Then we're going to add, at that point, it's kind of like whatever you kind of like. A little bit of onion powder. A little garlic powder. I've just made this so much, I'm kind of, kind of... And just a little bit of cayenne, not cayenne, paprika. And a little bit of basil. All right. There we are. And at the end, you can dress it up with some olive oil if you'd like. Most of the time, I do not, but you can. And that's it. Now if you see the difference, at the beginning the tofu was crumbly, now it's kind of clumping together a little bit more. I've stared it enough that some of the clumps are gone, but once it steams out that's what makes it so that it's easy to cook. Okay, so now you have an idea of what a no cholesterol breakfast looks like. And uh, so we've got the waffles, no cholesterol waffles, no cholesterol eggs, and we've got the fruit salad. And we've, he put honey in there, Sean made it, and he did add a honey. And we've got the fruit salad. So we are ready. We're about to put it on the table and we can all partake in it.